go back to when you started. I, I know you were a keen Mac user, and you were quite interested in using the movies, making movies your, yourself. How, how, how has your, you know, you know, how you use technology changed over the course of the project? Can you share some of those ideas with me? Um, it's changed tremendously. Uh, when I first started, I uh, had my own computer, and uh, I always wanted to use a computer more with my classroom, but never had any idea how to use one computer with a whole class. Um, I would make movies, but I would take pictures of the kids and then bring those pictures home and make a movie with it. And I didn't really include the children in any of the technology, and I didn't know how to do that. So with this project, I've really learned a lot about technology, about the different tools that are available, how to, uh, I think the projector, having a projector in my classroom has been um, one of the most important things that has been added to my program because it allows me to show what's on the computer with the whole class. Right. Um, and then having two extra computers as part of the project um, helped too. So I actually use my own personal computer okay. as a computer for my kids to use. Okay. And I have an old Mac that I use. So I have actually four computers in my classroom, four, four laptops, that, that they can be stations now. And the kids can either be two on one computer or one on one computer. And so that's been a big change. So how did you learn then to start to actually have the, the students be the ones who are using the technology to help them with their learning? Um, I actually can't pinpoint that, but I think as I introduced technology, I found that the children pick it up so quickly, faster than I do that you just show one child how to do one thing and they know how to do it. I wanted to ask you one other thing. And people talk about making sure that, that the technology is in support of the curriculum and mm -hmm. of pedagogy. Yeah. Would you, would I always you say, well, yeah, my feeling towards that is don't use ICT as an extra add-on. You use it to enhance your curriculum. Okay. So reading is one of the, the competencies. Well, we have to teach children how to read, of course, and write. Uh, who's to say that we can't teach them to read the traditional method? Phonetic awareness, decoding, a book in front of them, oral reading. You can also do a lot of that using the technologies. Instead of a blackboard, uh, you could use a projector. You can, um, one of our colleagues is doing flat Stanley, you know, sending a flat Stanley around around uh, the, the world to see other people and how they respond. I just find that it it enhances your, your teaching and your curriculum. So absolutely, I think part of, I know part of our cur curriculum is also exposing our children to these ICT tools. So they go hand in hand. I don't, it, it's all interconnected. I don't see one, if you're not, the, I think the days are gone of taking our class to the computer lab and teaching them tap tush. I think that was the way we learned, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's definitely not what computers and technology is today. So what you're saying is it's integrated. You're Absolutely, totally it's integrated, integrated. Yeah. Yeah. and it's it could be going on all the time in my class, and I'm not thinking I'm doing technology now. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not, when the kids, they're writing all the time, I'm not necessarily thinking, oh, I'm teaching them writing right now. It's, it's integrated. Mm -hmm. I'd really love you to just tell me a little bit about the, how you how your students use uh, technology in in the, the famous Canadian project that they were doing? Well, basically through other projects beforehand, I introduced them through different uh, technology uh, tools, such as creating a wiki. And after we went on to another project where they were doing a research report and a present an oral presentation on a famous Canadian. So they chose a famous Canadian and then they came to me and they asked me, can we put this and present it through the use of a wiki? So I said, by all means, sure. And then they went right at it and they created it themselves. They did all the work in that. So they're taking it from other lessons and other activities and then adapting it into their own. So without you saying anything, they actually are starting to say, exactly. hey, we're going to use this. To yeah, because they could present it any which way they wanted and they chose 
to use a technology. So for. when they're working with that, is it, are they working in a group of two, three, four? Uh, for this project, they were in a group of two. A group of two. Yeah. And they so they, they helped each other out. One was more comfortable with the technology than the other. So she was showing the other one how to do it. And then they'd go home and they'd even work on it at home too. So they were working in class and at home, helping each other out, excited about it and showing each other what they've done on it. Excellent. And it just kept growing and growing. And then other students were also in, interested in what they were doing, and then they wanted to create one too, after seeing what they had done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You were mentioning to me before the idea of, the, of how um, the technology has helped you share with parents. The kind of, can you give me an example of, of how this, the work that students do is, is shared with, with parents in your class? Right. Um, Oftentimes when teachers do a project with their class, they invite parents in to see the finished product. And I find today that a lot of parents work. In my class, most of the parents are working, so they can't really come into the classroom. So two years ago when I did a voice thread, I, I uh, actually, I, I, I was doing folk tales with my class. And I, one thing I want to say is that with the project, I found it was very important not to add more things. Like I didn't need to do a voice thread, but I used, I, I did a project on folk tales and used the technology to enhance, to celebrate what we were doing in the classroom. And I knew that uh, I wanted to share this wonderful project with my parents, so I started a blog. Mm -hmm. And a blog is just an online, um, what is it, online? Newsletter. Uh, I share things that we're doing in the classroom, um, and the parents can access it. Uh, but uh, so it allows me to to break down the classroom walls. Mm -hmm. So not but uh, not only my parents see the blog, but other people, other teachers around the world see the blog. Amazing. Eh? It's amazing, and I go to other classrooms and I see what they're doing, mm -hmm. and I get ideas uh, from mm -hmm. my classroom. People write comments. Um, mm -hmm. And the comments are, I, I, I love getting comments from people. Uh, it just, uh, it makes my day something. Uh, in, in terms of uh, working in the, in, the, in the classes that you're doing, how do you actually use the ICT supported learning? I mean, the, the, the tools that we use, are you fairly selective with it? Yeah, I mean, I select really what do I need for that project. Okay. Um, for example, my grade fours were doing a media project where right. they had to design their own cereal boxes and what makes it attractive and things like that. So one of the activities that I'm actually doing today is we're doing a podcast and we're going to talk about it, making a commercial or an audio commercial. Okay. So we're they're writing out a script, they'll be practicing it and like how they're going to use their voice and then we'll use how to, how to use Audacity in the classroom. Okay. So it's very specific to according to what I need. <laughs> right, right. And uh, if it's a voice thread, you know, we write a book and then how we're going to respond to that. Right. So it's also based on... Um, a literacy toolbox that I'm taking, so I tried to combine that together. So it just really focuses on what do I need in the class.